Today, we're diving into one of the wildest stories in hip hop history. When Cameron had to cough up nearly five million to bail out his crew after a dramatic arrest on the road, it's a story straight out of a movie with tour buses, gunfire, and a massive police standoff. So let's rewind to that freezing night in 2003 and break it all down. Imagine this, it's 2003. Dipset is riding high off their debut album, Diplomatic Immunity, and they're touring across the country. But one cold night in New England, things take a turn for the worse. As Cameron recalls, they were just cruising down I-91 when, out of nowhere, it felt like the end of Set It Off. You know, when Cleo faces off with a fleet of cops? Well, the Dipset tour bus was pulled over by what seemed like every cop car in the state. The police were on high alert because someone had reported that car windows had been shot out. Cameron, Jim Jones, and J.R. Ryder were ordered off the bus and told to keep their faces out of their shirts despite the freezing weather. But guess who was missing? Jew L. Santana, who Cameron joked was probably hiding under the bus's muffler. As if the situation wasn't tense enough, the cops decided to search the tour bus. And what did they find? Weapons. Now, Cameron was quick to deny that any of the guns belonged to them, but the cops weren't buying it. They ended up arresting two of Cam's friends, Orlando Young and Piri Pantoja, on some serious charges, including unlawful possession of a firearm and assault with intent to murder. The situation was dire, and the bail was set at a staggering $4.8 million. Cameron later admitted that he was sick when he heard the bail amount, but true to his word, he bailed his boys out. Now, one night we just driving down I-91, I believe, and the cops pulled the tour bus over like the end of set it off when Cleo was about to run through the barricade with all the cops. They had like 92 cop cars out there. They pull us off the tour bus talking about, yo, somebody car windows got shot out. I don't know how that happened, officer. Now, my homegirl, Tish, she tougher than lover because she barefoot and it's three degrees outside, the real three degrees. I'm talking about when you look at the dashboard and say, what's the time? Three degrees. I'm freezing. I'm looking at niggas like, well, y'all know what's going on? Because I don't. Black and darn got this head down. He's like, no, I don't know nothing, Flea. I don't know shit. These state troopers is telling niggas to get their face out they shirt. Sir, it is freezing outside. They look at the tour bus talking about, it say gangster music. Y'all gangster music? We say we do music. Now, in my head, everybody here but Jewels. I'm saying to myself, I know Jewels ain't under the muffler. He might be under the muffler because he was on the bus, but he missed him. Jewels know how to, that, that boy know how to hide. Look at my nigga Buddy Lee. Buddy Lee putting his face down like, nigga, I got 17 felonies. I ain't got time for this. Jim putting his face in his shirt. Look at the cops. Put a nice stick out. Pause. Told him, I'll take your face out your shirt. We are freezing, sir. We're freezing. We don't know what you're talking about. Now the car pull up that got the window shot out. Talking about, yeah, it was one of them. Yeah, 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 it was one of them. And we like, nobody got time for this nonsense. I'm sitting there like it was not one of us. Tish looking like, mm-hmm. I said, Tish, you going to keep a straight face. Bus driver said, I'll tell on any of y'all. Look at him. He's like, I don't know nobody. My nigga paper. They all right are looking like, I just met niggas yesterday. Ask me anything you want, sir. I don't give a damn. Now, all of a sudden, I hear a cop yell out, hot lunch, and they start pulling guns out. Another cop yell out, Mac 11. I said, there was none of our guns. You planted those guns. Y'all had to plant them guns because they're not ours. Another cop yell out, rifle. I said, sir, these are none of our guns. Now, they locked two of my niggas up. I start talking shit. Yeah, we gonna get the bill. They bailing. I don't care what the bill is. They, I'm bailing niggas out. The bill was $4.8 million. Oh, my God. I was sick. But I bailed niggas out, though, and everybody was good. Peace. That's loyalty. But it also came with a hefty price tag. This incident wasn't just a bump in the road. It was a major moment in the legacy of Dipset. Despite the drama, Cameron and the crew managed to keep their momentum going, and the story has since become part of the lore that surrounds Dipset's rise in the rap game. The fact that Cameron was willing to put up nearly $5 million for his friends says a lot about the bond between the members of Dipset. It also shows the kind of heat they were under at the time, both from the streets and from law enforcement. 
So there you have it. An insane story from the heyday of Dipset that involves guns, police standoffs, and a $5 million bailout. It's moments like these that remind us why Dipset remains one of the most iconic groups in hip hop history. If you enjoyed this dive into rap's craziest moments, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our latest content. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.